Hey beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. So this lesson is about watch your mouth, okay? But for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So you have to be careful of the words that come out of your mouth. Um, obviously in the Garden of Eden, Eve was deceived and beguiled because of words. Words are very powerful, and you need to be careful and watch your mouth. And God wants you to watch your mouth, because he is the God of truth. And we're going to talk about flattery. We're going to talk about lies and um, how God feels about these things. And that, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And that if you have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. And if your words are not edifying, then you shouldn't be talking those words. If your words are not of wisdom, understanding, and edifying, then you shouldn't be talking those words. Just because you have a mouth doesn't mean that you're just so always supposed to be speaking. There's a time to speak and there's a time to keep silent. Even Christ opened not, there was a time Christ opened not his mouth. All right? So be careful of the things that you that come out of your mouth and be careful of the things that you hear people say out of their mouth. All right? We're going to get into that as well. Uh, math talking about how people deceive you with their mouth, men and women and fools. Matthew 15 and 11. Not that which goes into the mouth defiles the man, but that which comes out of the mouth, this defiles the man. So the things that come out of your mouth defile you. And by your words, you're going to be justified. So be careful of the things that come out of your mouth. Mark 7 and 15. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are they that defile him. Mark 7 and 20. And he said that which comes out of the man that defiles the man. For from within, out of the heart of men proceeds evil thoughts adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lactroviciousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these things come from within and defile the man. Those things come out of your mouth. Now, Proverbs 19 and 5. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaks lies shall not escape. So watch your mouth. You shouldn't be speaking lies. If you don't want to answer somebody, you don't have to. If someone asks you something, you don't need to answer them. There's a time to keep silent. You don't have to speak. Even in the justice system, it tells you, speak, um, forever hold your peace. Speak now or forever hold your peace. You can hold your peace. You have the right to remain silent, they say. You do have the right to remain silent. That's a choice. So it's a choice for you to open up your mouth in lies. Because you have the right to remain silent. And you're, you need to exercise that right. Are you, you forever hold your peace. You can do that as well. Because a false witness shall not be unpunished. And he that speaks lies shall not escape. Proverbs 19 and 9. A false witness shall not be unpunished. And he that speaks lies shall perish. Now James 3 and 6. And the tongue is a fire, a whirl of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defiles the whole body. So your tongue can defile your whole body. That's why it says life and death are in the power of the tongue, right? But your mouth, and it says it, what comes out of your mouth defiles a man. What does it tell you in James? The tongue among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature and is set on fire of hell. Now we're going to even talk about the woman's words that are smooth, smoother than butter, smoother than oil, I mean, and her flattering words and how she takes on hell and how she deceives a man and forces him. We're going to get to that too. So Job 15 and 5, for thy mouth utters thy iniquity, your mouth utters iniquity and thou chooses the tongue of the crafty. So there's people who have crafty tongues. There's people whose mouths are worlds of iniquity because it's not teaching no edification. All their mouth does is gossip, slander, and cause ruin. Now, Isaiah 53 and 7. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter 
and as a sheep before the shearers is dumb so he opened not his mouth even christ opened not his mouth there's a time to speak and there's a time to keep silent there's a time to open your mouth and there's a time to close your mouth you can keep silence 1 timothy 1 and 4 neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith so do your mouth should be open in wisdom your mouth should be open in edifying your mouth should be open in praise your mouth should be open in knowledge wisdom and understanding your mouth should be open up in compassion and love these things edify proverb you're not supposed to just speak to speak Learn how to use your mouth properly and your lips because you're going to be justified because God is the God of truth and a lying tongue he hates. We're going to get there. Proverbs 5 and 3. For the lips of a strange woman drop as honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than butter. So I mean smoother than oil. So strange women, they, they, they talk all kind of flattery out of their mouth. Now Proverbs 5 and 4. But her end is bitter as wormwood, a sh sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to hell. I mean, her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Lest thou should ponder the path of life, her ways are movable that, movable that thou mayt not know them. Sorry, I erased when I um, copied and paste. Proverbs 5 and 7. Hear me now, therefore, O you children and depart not from the words of my mouth so don't depart from the words of god's mouth remove thy way far from her so a woman who speaks smoother than oil god tells you to remove your way far from her because those are flattering words and come not nigh the door of her household lest thou give thy honor unto others and thy years unto the cruel lest strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labors be in the house of a stranger, and thou mourn at the last, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed, and and say, How have I hated instruction, and not, and my heart despise reproof, that you didn't listen to God when he told you don't go around no woman whose words are smoother than oil, and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers and people who taught you about these type of women, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me that instructed 